Welcome back guys to Justice For All, where we're having a little bit of trouble with Mia's Cyclox here, but we're down to the final one. She thinks we did very well, but what is her next problem, or more to the point, what does she want from us next to be able to tell us what she knows? Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, uh, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But, I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Grey, who or what did she need? Well, she needed an accomplice. We've already kind of figured that one out. That's not- that's an easy one! Thank you! Eeny meeny. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny meeny had coinciding goals in a weird way. They used each other. A perfect collaboration. We're in cahoots! Thank you. No health loss this time. There are lots of deliberation. Lots of time taken to find out who the murderer is. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Fay Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Inumini is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Grey? Why would she have to? It's not about that. Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eni. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then there is only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? To be the master? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because... Mother, she is the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Whose? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course, Misty Faye. Me and Maya's mother? Why would she bring her up now? Now then, it looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief, we won't lose. We won't lose. The amount of optimism. But E is gonna come at its full barrel. At least she definitely declared war, didn't she? Um, Nick. Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Uh, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself and she's so grown up! Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, and well... I'm the daughter of the Master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Uh, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today! I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Mayor. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Y yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can show weakness in front of the person you love. But Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Mayor's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your own time. Phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? So much sense. 
Icely done, Phoenix. She won't remember anything. She won't see that her mum is guilty. She'll know afterwards, but she won't see us do the job. Court is now in session for the trial of Mayor Fay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. And Pearl is really good if she can just channel at will, but I think that's mostly Mia's doing, to be fair. She's very trying to get into our plane of existence right now. Don't be foolish, you foolishly fool, wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, Alright. Let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. Wh what? But Miss Von Karma! Then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Uh, then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Mayor Fay, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Ah! Don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watching over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Mayor then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... Hmm. You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Mayor. She escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Mayor Fay, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Fay, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. And so we doth learn. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Mayor's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why did you not tell us any of this at the time? Because it's lies. Blatant lies. 
but I got a pick at this. Why have you hidden this up until now? I I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Mayor. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She's simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in the testimony. Well, let's try. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Well, we're not reading this testimony again, we're pressing it. Hold it! Just now, you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lotta's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks? Hmm, what did you do after that, Miss Fay? I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Hold it! Spiritual voice. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, exactly? Another what, madame? You're talking about Eeny Meeny, aren't you? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Question further, then. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? I took as another person. She was not going to reveal that, obviously. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Mayor's hands and she was in a daze. Hold it! During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Mayor to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. Really? But, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this. However... Objection! The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Mayor? I... B a bull? Rubbish? So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade Mystic Mayor had done something very unexpected. S -s something unexpected? What pray tell did she... Uh, Ow! Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there was always later. Uh, yes, very well. Uh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Something being hidden for later. Now witness, continue with what happened. Then quite suddenly, she thrust me away from herself and escaped from the room. Hold it! Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Okay. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Mayor Fay. Ah! Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. 
Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However, I was knocked unconscious. With great strength, she hit me in the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. Oh. Karate chop! You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Hold it! Is that because you were unconscious? Well, yeah. Supposedly. Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further or leave her be. There's nothing really to gain here, is there? If she faints it, then there's no way she can testify any more than she has. If I press her, I'm not going to get anything useful anyway. That's enough! From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Mayor Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. And it is only our! Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Uh, who... who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Uh, Eeny Meeny? I think you can see where this is headed. I avenged myself for you, sister. I love you so much. Witness? Name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like, Eeny Meeny. I'm like, researching like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff? Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Now then, Miss Meany. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Mayor Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, um... If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Uh, yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine, for my sake! And so we learn. Like, when the challenge started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. M my sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Mayor Fay? Really now, Your Honor. Mayor Fay was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Minnie. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Meany, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me? That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person.
That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Innie. She took her revenge! Are you sure that's what she said? Y yes There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that the spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It's a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. Well, you say it's the end? So we'll end our episode there. As we look to maybe pick apart Inumi's testimony in a bit, but I don't think there's so much we can do. Apart from maybe like the last statement. But, eh. Uh, just to ask about the meeting in particular. We'll find out on the next episode of Justice for All what happens next. I'll see you then. Bye bye.